Welcome back WPS members. What we're going to look at tonight is organizing your photos in Flickr. So once you get a bunch of pictures in your photo stream, uh, you might want to be able to organize them so that you can look at them a little easier. Uh, the easiest way to do that, and Flickr has given us a really nice way to do that, is by clicking on albums. And as you can see here, I have several albums that I've already made up. And I'm going to show you how to make up an album uh, to take a look at. The very nice part about albums is that you can add multiple pictures to each album. You can add, this, add the same picture in different albums. So as you can see here, I have an album called Waterfalls and an album called Ohio Pow, and they both happen to have the same Cucumber Falls picture on the front there. Uh, so to create an album, once you've clicked on albums, come over here to the right and click on Create New Album. And this is a really easy way to do this. This screen pops up. On the left hand side it says New Album. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that and what I'm going to do is just change that. You can change and name your album right here and I'm just going to name it test. Ooh, I can't spell tonight. There we go and click out of there. So I've named the album and simple easy way your photos all show up right at the bottom under the uh, film strip down here and if you want to add a photo to this album now you just grab it and drag it in. So let's add a couple photos. We're going to add three different photos in there for uh, to show you guys and it picks the very first picture that you drag in there is added as your album cover you can change that just by gra grabbing a picture and dragging it over to the album cover so once you're satisfied with your pictures that are in your album your album cover your name you can go down to the bottom here on the bottom left hand corner there's a button that says save we're going to click on that and it saved our album and here we, we can see that test album has showed up in our list of albums so if I go back to my photo stream and let's click on albums, we'll see that that test album has showed up. I can click on that and there's the three pictures that are in the test album. And as we pick the one picture to be our cover photo, you can see it shows up in the cover photo. You can also add a description of your album in here if you choose to. And you can share your album uh, downloading, which we talked about in our previous video. And let's click on that and see what that is. Oh, that's for making photo books. So uh, that'll be a whole nother video. We'll talk about that at another point. So let's go back to our photo stream. And that takes care of organizing your pictures. Uh, one of the other things that I wanted to talk about, which was brought up at the meeting, is taking a look at how the picture was taken. So a lot of times we post pictures and we see the question, what was your settings? Uh, so Flickr makes that quite simple for us. If we click on this picture, uh, let's scroll down a little bit here and we can take a look at our settings. You can see that this picture was taken here in the center with a Nikon D610 and a 70 millimeter f2.8 lens. Uh, it gives you the aperture, shutter speed, whether or not a flash was used, what focal length the lens was, since this was a fixed focal length of course would be 70. Uh, the ISO is 200. Uh, you can also click on this show EXIF data and that gives you a whole lot more individual information about the picture. Uh, we can look and see here's uh, exposure bias. It was shot at minus 130 V. Um, metering modes, uh, multi-segment multi metering mode, light source unknown uh, because we didn't have a flash on there. Uh, the color space is sRGB. I, there's just all kind of information in here that allows you to uh, to take a look at what kind of stuff was uh, what the picture was taken at. So very interesting. A lot of information that you can look at. Uh, let's go back up and close that there, and we'll go back here. One other thing that I wanted to point out, which I did point out in another video, is that you can uh, add comments to photos, and we encourage that at the WPS. Uh, to uh, tell people what you think about the photos, what you like, what you don't like, uh, what you might have done a little differently, but uh, be kind, but uh, we definitely would like to see critiquing of the photos in our group. All right, uh, that ends this video, and there'll be more to come in the future. Thank you.